let's see if a scrapper can make if a scrapper can make a nice painting too. So let's test that out. Now I watched this weekend a few videos on YouTube and so that was my inspiration to get started. And so let's see how that goes. So I noticed that many of you painters do this. So I am going to try it out how that works. Alright, so I am not a professional. No, I am not. I'm definitely not. So I sorted out a few of these nice colors and um, I'm going to try it out and see what I can do with it. Now let's see what kind of a brush. Well, I think this is a very small brush. I do have this one. Let's see what this brush is. Let's move this along. I have no idea what this is. But we'll see. Um, okay, so many of you guys <coughs> made it first the colors ready with water. Well, I think you can add it with this too. That I say that I am not a professional, but I'm going to add yeah, the white owl just a little. All right, so let's work with this. Clean it up and let's smooth these out. So I watched a few tips of you guys and they say to me you have to prepare first your paint. Now these come from the tube so you have to squeeze them first. Did the blue one already? So I'm just going to make them wet. All the colors. That is black. in my clean water. <laughs> <coughs> Let me first clean that up. Okay, first mistake. You have to have a filthy glass of water where you clean up your brushes and you have to a clean bottle, but I just dipped it in the clean bottle. Oh, mistake. Mistake one. <laughs> okay, I have clean water. Um, <laughs> now let's get started. Okay, now, I don't follow this tutorial because I am not, I am a beginner, my first time. <laughs> okay, um, where do we start? Well, I did a course on a paint, no, airbrushing, and um, they learned me there that you start with the lightest color. And uh, well, that means I think with every painting. So let's start first 
but just water. I'm just going to make my paper wet. Saw that on YouTube that you need to make your paper wet. Now I have no idea how wet, but let's see how wet they need. Well, let's start with the first one and just adding some blue here and there. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I watched a few <laughs> videos and I thought, how hard can it be? <laughs> so let's, yeah, okay, let's go to a darker color. Um, I think, well, I think the purple first. Alright, so let's see what goes. Let's see how it goes. Well, this is absolutely not a light color, but let's see how it goes. We just see how it goes. Like I said, I'm a totally beginner. Just trying it out. Add some blue. Okay, this is getting, getting a bit wet right here, so it goes everywhere. I get pools. And I think that's a mistake, but I'm just going on and just going on. But perhaps we can dab it a bit. Where is Oh, here it is. Perhaps we can dip a little of this pool. We don't want to pull. Alright, that's better. Yep, way better. Alright, so I'm just going to Stay away from my clean water, girl. Just stay away. Now I'm just adding another color. I'm just keep going on. Totally not sure of what I'm doing. paper is really having a wave kind of a thing so perhaps I made it way too too um, too wet but I'm just going on and going on letting a bit of the color Coming back. Adding a bit of the blue. Perhaps it's totally against the rules. <laughs> but hey, I'm new here. I am. Just trying it out. Just trying it out. Let's make a little of that pink. Hmm, that I like. A bit up here. Let that pink coming back. Now I will let this. Yeah. I like that. Needed a bit blue. The blue is gone with the pool. I keep that 
Tak. I have persons who do this on a regular basis, they will laugh at me, but I'm just trying. I am just trying it out. I am new at this, so be gentle with me. Okay, I'm just going to dab a bit of these pools. And I'm going to start over, I'm just going to dab. I'm not totally um, that here is not enough of that blue so I'm just going to tap it back in what do you think? okay well I'll leave it for now going to, well wait just a second paper is really but perhaps I use totally the wrong color uh, the wrong papers perhaps I should use watercolor paper but now I use the mixed media paper I got so yeah but anyway I'm just going on see what I can save now I am going to dip and I'm going to use more black so I'm starting at the bottom and I'm just going to get in using first a lot of water assume that you will get a little more texture in that black I'm just going back and forth and just see how it goes Now again, I will getting here some of that strange. Okay, let's use. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Applause. Yeah, first mistake. Don't throw any water bottles under it. Well, my painting is still saved, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, this is. Yeah, this still can work. Oh yeah. It is. <laughs> oh yeah. Perhaps I need more water. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. I do. Although, let me clean this up. I totally waste some papers here. It's all wet. It's all wet. It's all wet. My see body is wet. Oh my gosh, I have to clean this up. <laughs> cool. Oh yeah. Love this. Not. Look at this. Total waste of my nice seam binding. Ah, all the colors are mixed in each other. Hate it. Hate it. Let's grab some new paint. Okay, back in business. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Oh yeah, that can happen. Well, in the meantime, this is nice, dry. It's really bumpy. But let's see. Just going on and on and on and on and on and on. Whew, I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay, so um, I am going back a bit more of dark blue. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of dark blue. And I need more black. And I need white. Here we go. Okay, let's start with that. <laughs> All right, so now first I am gonna make my color. a little darker ah this is good this is good now I'm just grabbing another brush to make my painting a little wetter just a little on the edges and perhaps this is totally wrong that could have done more damage than it already is, but I'm just going to tap in. I'm just going to try and try and try. I know, perhaps this is totally wrong. That could have been, but I'm just going to try it out. <laughs> oh yeah. a bit more wet here in the middle too make it wet I want it a little bit darker just a bit more cloudy I think this is good yeah this I like more so here it's light and here it's dark that's cool but we still have those going to do this and now I'm going in back in with some black not need that much black adding a bit more water now I want I need to stop making this too dark, but well, it's not that bad. But I will stop, otherwise it won't be way too dark. No. Let's get back to the mountains. I'm just going to line this a bit more.
it's great. All right, now I will stop at the black. Well, I saw that someone used an acrylic block. Well, I can use this one to make some splashes. So let's see how that works out. I'm just going to use a small brush. Yeah, that is perfect. Let's get my towel by hand. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so let's grab some white. And of course, we need some water. But I don't want it too water existence. Okay, I think that's enough. Just going to try it out. Well, perhaps it's a good way of trying it out first. Oh my gosh, where do I have it? Oh, well, this is a nice try-out piece. So let's try it out. Put some white on here. Oh, oh, that will... Oh, yes, perfect. Cool, okay, so let's make some splashes. I like splashes. That's cool. I love this. This works pretty good for a beginner. <laughs> okay, that's good. Now, I think you also can use this for some bigger splashes. I did with mixed media. Okay, that's good. Yeah, love that. That's perfect. Perfect. A little on the mountains. Just a little. Hmm. Perhaps it was not supposed to be on the mountains. <laughs> okay. Because actually they are stars, aren't they? Hmm, I think they are. <laughs> well, let's clean this up. And see where it goes. Alright, clean my brushes. saw people drawing a little very tiny little trees I'm just going to try it out <laughs> just going to try it out like I said I am not a professional I'm just doing I'll try out here. It's 
actually pretty much fun, but it's really intimidating <laughs> when I know you are watching. Everybody can do this. Everybody. Just making some small trees. This is not too bad. I'm making a little line. Cool. Now I do like a little more black pigment, so I'm just going to grab a little another thought. And I'm just going to use less water. To give these three a bit more trees on the front. Let's see how that goes. Actually, it's getting better and better <laughs> with this finishing touch. Finishing touch, and these have no need of good details. They don't. I think they don't. Hmm. Okay. it up just hmm. okay this is not bad at all okay so I will use a bit of this gray I'm just going to be a little making here just a little I think you can't go any wrong with this but What I'm now doing is just highlight a little bit on these trees so if there's something shining 
on there. Perhaps a little moonlight or something. I don't know. Just trying something out here. <laughs> Okay, so I still have that white here that could have been a little more less. Perhaps the edges could be a little darker, but I love how it is. Let's clean this up. Think. That's always fun, but you can keep adding till you think you are done. So let's give this to Northern Star. Cool. Alright, I think I will stop. And um, yeah, it's not perfect, but I do like it. I still can add. more always of course let's give these trees just a little more point I think I can Not when you throw any water under, but okay. I did, and now these trees are really tiny on the background, but yeah, cool. I'm going to clean up, Ooh. oh my gosh, my long nails keep letting these fall down. <laughs> okay, um, I don't think I messed it up too much, where is my white, because I do like a little more. This could have actually been snow, could have been. I'm just lighting up this northern star just a bit. Just dabbing with my brush. Give it just a little more. Yeah, cool. Now I will stop there. I will show you in a minute from close. No. 
cool. I'm gonna stop. I like it. And at the beginning I really thought, oh, this goes nowhere and it's horrible, but yeah, actually it turns out not that bad. Now, let's see if I can turn off that paper. Okay, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, this is not good at all. It tears down the paper. Okay. I saw someone using the healing tool. Let's see if I have that change. Mm. No. That's a little bit better, but not that all as I want. What? This one. Okay, so what have we got? <laughs> I actually don't. Well, what I'm going to do before I'm going to show you close, <laughs> I'm going to cut these edges and then I am gluing it down on a nice card uh, because this do not work out pretty much for me, but yeah. So I'll be back in one second. Stay tuned. So yeah, who wants to see me? So I cut it out and I smooched only a little on the edges with my distress ink. And um, I glued it on a just another mixed media with double sided tape. So it actually lays flat pretty much will now. So let me, do you want to see it close up? <laughs> okay. I want to show you on the air. So what do you think? Well, this is a little quick something. It's coming from the back of the mountains to the front. And you actually see that these little trees are way on the back. And this is the light, lighter scare, uh, sky. And this comes a little darker. Well, for the first time, guys, give me a break. <laughs> okay, so, cool. Hmm, do I like another one? I don't know. I am going to see if I can do it. 